Alright, so we are now down to the topic 2 of the GE122 Geodetic Surveying Class, which is the traditional geodetic surveying methodologies for horizontal control network establishment and densification. So this is for the authors and contributors of these materials. And this is for the copyright notice. For the outline of the presentation, we will be talking about the triangulation, trilateration, and classification and standards of accuracy for horizontal and control surveys. For the intended learning outcomes, after this lecture, you, the student, must have differentiated the different genetic surveying methodologies of horizontal control network establishment, identified and explained the procedures and instrument for horizontal genetic control network establishment, and densification using triangulation and trilateration. Identified and explained the con uh, classification and standards of accuracy, specifications for horizontal control surveys, performed computations and adjustment of triangulation and trilateration networks, and um, explain the importance of the strength of figures and reduction of measurements to C level in triangulation and trilateration. Perform strength of value computations and reduction to C level computations. Next is to solve problems on triangulation and trilateration. And after this uh, lecture, you are going to execute uh, the horizontal genetic control network establishment and densification surveys using triangulation and trilateration in accordance with the standards of accuracy specifications of horizontal control surveys. So in this um, internet learning outcome, so dapat i-execute mag ang um, establishment of horizontal control network. No? But since we are all uh, online class, so maybe I'm going to have a remedy for this one kung saan ako pagpa-perform sa inyo ang laboratory exercise. So until now, wala pa rin ko yung makunakutaan kung saan siya. Kaya since it's... Uh, uh, lisod siya ng apart nung labing na sa ing ane na klase na subject na field work yun siya. Dili siya po yung computer generated. Alright, let's start. So, for the first part, which is the triangulation. So, when we say triangulation, it is a method for extending horizontal control or for topographic and similar purposes of surveys, which require observation of triangular figures whose angle are measured and whose sides are determined by trigonometric computations. So, from the word itself, triangulation, so we are dealing with all the angles. And the output of this uh, kind of method is will be used no, for the topographic and other similar uh, surveys. So, triangulation method is being adapted because it eliminated the difficulties of measuring long distances over a rugged terrain. So, can you see triangulation is being uh, adapted no, sa pag-establish ng mga horizontal uh, control networks. It's because sa uh, long distances, no, dili, mag dili na feasible ang uban nga method no, para magkitahe, labi na sa mga bukid ng mga lugar. So, pinahanglan na gid siya o another technique or another method para maka-establish o ka ng, or mas mapadali ang method no, sa pag-establish ng mga uh, control networks. In triangulation, it is employed over large areas where the methods of traversing would not be inspected to maintain the uniform high accuracy over the entire area. So, mo niya kung giyon ka ganina, no? Kasi triangulation is being used, no? Pag dili na feasible ang other uh, method no of establishing uh, control networks such as traversing no kay pag main traversing mas ma, uh, mas dugo lang ang mga distances o uh, visible lang ang mga uh, gamiton na materials no such as for example range poles no, flaglets and so on and it consists of networks of geometric figures with all the angles measured directly in the field and with relatively few of the sides are being measured. So in triangulation, no, so from the word itself, no, tri triangle, no, so triangle. Pag naayud ang word na angle, it's because the angles, no, the angles are measured directly, such as this one, three upon sa tikas, no. Kaya nga mga angles are being uh, directly uh, observed by the uh, instrument man or 
the surveyor. And few of the sites are being um, uh, measured such as the baseline. No? Sa baseline, and diri, uh, kaya para magamit ang nai angle, tapos na ay baseline or na ay isa ka measured na distance. And another one is so the cheek base. No? Para may ba nato kung say accuracy sa ato ang uh, triangulation. The next is the lengths and directions of the lines joining these distant points. The vertices of the angles are also determined after the surveys. No? And kasabot na ninyo ya, ang kaninga mga lens, kaning diri ah, no? kaning mga lens, kani, kani, the other one are being measured na during the, up or after the computations. No? Basta kay na lang tayo isa ka distance, isa, or, isa ka uh, known nga distance, uh, and other one is the known distance for check base, for checking purposes only. And in terms of advantages of triangulation, uh, na siya check no na mabuhat so mo niya tong gibuhat niya uh, pag pag pagkuha aning uh, distance sa uh, is at the other side which is the check base para may bawa na to kung kung say order nga na na achieve sa to ang triangulation no? while moving to the system uh, by more than one possible route no? so depende man siya kung ahan nimo para makuha nimo ang uh, measure distance sa check base gamit ka of different routes no so nga na siya all right so let's go now to the terms na in control network first is we have triangulation system so when we say triangulation system it consists of a series of triangles in which one or more sides are of the triangle are also the sides of an adjacent triangle so when we say system mang good, so dapat connected ang tanan. So, it's a series of triangles nga being connected. No? Dapat interconnected siya. Kaya masama, ayan, iingon tiri ah. Nga, um, consists of a series of triangle which one or more sides of a triangle are also sides of an adjacent uh, triangle. So, na siya common side. No? Then, we have also triangulation stations. These are the vertices of the triangles in a triangulation system. So, ang pasabot niya, class, puntahay na kay uh, triangle, uh, isa ka triangle, no? Tapos, so, putang na putin mo another triangle. So, ang pasabot niya, ang triangulation station is kani. Kani uh, color blue. Kani mga stations. Kani. Muna triangulation station. Kani po triangulation station. This one. So, muna tawag na triangulation stations. Baseline. Baseline are uh, one of is one of the lines in triangulation system whose length is precisely measured. No? The link word here is presa, uh, whose length. No? Length is precisely measured and its true direction determined by astronomical observation. So, sa unang panahon, no, kag employed man yung uh, triangulation, so wala pa tong mga GNSS. So, ang pag ang method nila pag determine sa mga directions less especially pag wala like, makuhaan nga tile line is by use of the astronomic observation such as solar solar observation stellar observation and so on it is usually located at the beginning of the triangulation system and its length is used as the basis for computing the lengths of other lines of the system so ang pasabot at niya class is kapag kung ginyo ganin na, na baseline no so, for example kani nga triangulation network no atay gitawag nga baseline no baseline so for example kani ang ani ang triangulation network so ang baseline niya is kani kung aha nag start no so mao ni mahimong basis nimo sa pag determine sa uh, sides na pud aning naa sa triangulation network kani kani blue kani na pud so nag ang basis ana niya sa pag calculate is ang uh, distance aning uh, uh, naka red no which is the baseline another term for control network is the check base no when we say check base it is one of the lines in triangulation system whose length is also precisely measured and may be located regular intervals and or the end of the triangulation system so so kung ganyan ni kaganina no kung natay triangulation say for example natay triangulation system na ingan no so ato lang ni illustrate kay lisod kay siya no so kintahay na yung ana mm, alright kung natay nga ng triangulation system so pag may yung taong check base no, 
check base is ang kaning sa sugod sa triangulation. I know. Uh, I mean, um, baseline is ang kani na sa sugod sa triangulation system. And pag mo yung tag-check base, na pag mo tag-check base is ang end, no? Kaning nasa uh, pinaka-iwit na nga line. No? And kani po siya nga line is a uh, measured uh, precisely. Parehas niya po sa pag-measured sa um, baseline. So again, check base is being uh, used or served as a check, no? check for the triangulation computations involving the lens of the line. So, siya ang mo-check kung if ever how accurate our surveys o pasok pa siya sa standard sa imuhang triangulation. Another one is the least, least square method. Rather, no? it's a method of adjustment used in triangulation system and other types of traverse surveys. This square method is based on a theory of probability and is used to simultaneously adjust no, the angular and linear measurement to make the sum of the squares of the residuals minimum. Okay. Since we all know nga, hindi dyan siya mawala no, ang ato ang uh, residual. Na yun na yung modifier, yun nagpila ka 0.00 something. And uh, so the deep end, uh, deep ninyong uh, explanation aning this square method will be taught in your genetic computations and adjustments. Another triangulation network is the station adjustment. In terms of control network is the station adjustment. It is an approximate adjustment used in triangulation system at lower orders of precision. It's sometimes referred as the local adjustment. Station adjustment, like for example, na a triangulation station diri a, let's say, also in color dark, triangulation. So na station diha a, then uh, na ang wall oh, na ay line pa dulong dito sa isa ka uh, station na po it could be put siya kay another station kani po siya is another station so ang angles ani niya, kani kani and kani is you're going to adjust no? okay, pag may yun mong station adjustment one full revolution is 360 degrees so ay mo na siyang i-assure nga ang kaninga, kaninga angle plus kaninga angle niya plus kaninga angle is equal to 360. Pag di siya mag-equal, kinahanlan niyo siya i-adjust. So mo nang gitawag siya og local adjustment. Its object objective is to make the sum of the angles about each triangulation station equal to 360 degrees. So mo na kong i-discuss sa ganina. Another term is ang figure adjustment. In figure adjustment, the objective is to make the sum of the three angles in each triangulation within a triangulation system is equal to 180 degrees. So now, ang pasabot na po ni Nia class is, uh, for example, na uh, station dari ano, uh, triangulation station, tapos na ako ay padulong dito nga, isa na po yung triangulation station, dito po is another triangulation station. So kanina, mo ano yung mga triangulation station niya yung padulungan? Kani. So kani and kani. So, panipod is another line no? connecting this triangulation station. Then, so on and so forth na na yun. Ay di haa, tapos na ako di rin. Tapos na na po dito sa PCAS, paan na na po. No? Ang pasambot sa figure adjustment class is the sum down of the uh, angle within a triangulation system is, up, is dapat mo equal siya of 180 degrees. Okay. Di ba since sum of the interior angle for triangle is 180 degrees. So, ang kani daw dapat, kani, o kani, is, must be equal to 180 degrees. No? 180 degrees. Okay? Triangle man siya. Ano, diliman 360, sir, nga quadrilateral man. So, from the word itself, triangulation. So, triangle, uh, to ang i-consider. Uh, And the adjustment is an approximate method used in most of low-order triangulation systems. So, ang yung pamaagi po is approximate method, same diya po sa uh, station adjustment. Approximate man siya, approximate lang niya nga. Uh, wala takabalo as ang nakahatag o biggest na contribution no, sa paghatag uh, sa error. So, iyang gi um, assume tanan, no, yun na lang i-distribute ang error tanan sa angles no, within the triangulation system. So, here are the bases of triangulation. If one of the side and the three angles of the triangulation are known, 
the remaining signs can be computed. So, mga class, kung ang isa daw kuno ka sign is known and the three angles are also known, the remaining signs can be computed. So, muna ang kinahalang yan na ata isa ka base, baseline no, para mahi mo siya ang uh, one side no, sa triangulation. With the rest of the angles can be the directly computed, directly observed in the field. For example, so, um, are you familiar with this uh, equation? So, this is the sine law. Sine law. So, saan pag-calculate um, triangulation kung naakay one side being um, one side being known and the three angles are being known so you can have the sine law. Sine law na siya. So, more about triangulation. Geometric figures composed of triangles are being utilized in triangulation. Survey stations are points in the ground. So, ating nga mga station is the point in the ground na sila. Na, makita na ni mo sa ground kani, kani, kani. So, mga points na siya on the ground which define the vertices of triangles forming parts of a quadrilaterals or chain of triangles. Then, horizontal angles in a limited number of sides are being measured. And by using the measured angles and baseline strength, Triangles can be solved trigonometrically and position of the stations are being calculated. So, masamtan naman siya, class, no? Then, here it comes, no? Mag ato ang uh, sound siya pag uh, visualize ang uh, illustration or simple illustration of a triangulation. So, let's assume that the simple triangulation was conducted to establish a primary control station over both one city. So, after the adjustment, so, na ay nakita nga ang angles na kuno na determine nga si A, kani station A, to be 81, 57, 32.75. Uh, angle B is 33, 28, 16.60. And angle C is 64, 34, 10.65. Then, the baseline AC, so si baseline day ani is kanin si A, padalong kang C. So, money ang atong baseline. Measured uh, precisely na siya. To be 4,496.987 meters. And with an azimuth A to C. Azimuth A to C. Azimuth A to C. No, A to C. A padulong kang C is 1335. So, kasabot sa azimuth test is no From south, padulong daw sa line AC. Ano siya? Ano siya ang azimuth? 1335, 19.66. I 39.66 rather. If a station A daw is a UTM zone 51, WDS 84 coordinates, national coordinates nga 777, 340 meters, 992, 495 meters, what would be the coordinates of the station B and C? Ang ipangita is ang coordinates sa station B and coordinates sa station C. Alright, so to solve this illustration, so first thing that we, we need to do in solving a problem, no, problem solving, is to uh, illustrate no, or to uh, sketch or to draw what is uh, the meaning of the problem no, or kung unsay gihatag sa problem. So, ato a siyang i-plot. So, first thing that uh, gihatag is ang kaning uh, line no, nga from A to C na siya ay 4,496.987 and we have also uh, given angle of angle A, angle B, and angle C. So, first and foremost is we need to determine if ang kanibang angle A, B, o C is must be equal to 180 degrees. Kung 180, mag siya. Alright, so we have uh, to check na no if A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degrees. We have A to B, 80, uh, 81, 57, 32.75. B to B, 33, 38, 16.60. And C to B, 64, 34, 10.65. So, pag ito na siyang isolve, mo equal na siya 180 degrees. Therefore, okay siya no, to solve to uh, proceed to the next step. So, illustration from the first uh, station, which is ang station A. So, maunin ang station A. 
So, station A to station C is na daw siya ay azimut no nga 13, 35, 39.66. So, kaya nga ang angle uh, angle A, kanina pag ito ni i-add tanan, ito ni i-add sila tanan, it will result to 80, 157, 32.75. Therefore, para makuha ni uh, kani, kani nga angle, is we need to have uh, we need to uh, subtract no the azimuth of A to C from the uh, angle A which is 8157 so 8157 minus 13 35 39.66 is we will uh, have a value of 6821.53.09 So, atong i-convert ang azimuth into bearing. Okay, since we need to get the uh, coordinates of C. So, azimuth man, so 13, 35, 39.66, ang bearing karon is na ay uh, 13, 35, 39.66, south, west. No? Or south, 13, 35, going to the west. Alright, so since na naman tay uh, bearing na na-calculate aganina no, and na apoy given nga distance, so next thing that we should do is ang um, pag-calculate sa latitude and departure. Kay na may given na coordinates ang A, so makuha na nato ang coordinates sa C, which is maagi pang ita sa problem. So to get the latitude and departure of AC, line AC is we have this formula. So, latitude is equal to distance cosine the bearing. No? So, nga nung cosine man, sir? So, again, that's the formula no? from GE100. I guess, uh, kabalo na muan na. Sa om na siya, pag-illustrate. No? Una atay, money ang line. No? Money ang line. O, oh, money ang uh, station A. Padulong ni sa C. No? Na kay bearing. Um, color yellow, bearing. Bearing. So, ang itong pangitaon is ang latitude departure. So, ang departure is ang x. Ang latitude is ang y. No? So, since kinaman tayo bearing, so, ang ito ang given is ang distance. No? Ang distance um, a to c. Kani distance a to c. Napun tayo given na angle. Interior angle. I know. Uh, inclusive niya ang angle. So, departure. So, cos, uh, cosine siya kay ay latitude pala is cosine it's because adjacent over hypotenuse and for departure sine siya kay opposite over hypotenuse all right so to get the uh, value of the latitude of the line ac is uh, distance cosine the bearing so we have the uh, value of 4371 meters negative siya kay since ang atuang uh, Atuang bearing is south, no? South, west. So, nasa sa third quadrant. So, that's negative, negative. Alright. So, for departure, departure is uh, distance sign uh, bearing. So, again, substitute lang the value of uh, the, uh, distance and the bearing. So, we have the value of 1057 one meters. And again, negative siya tungod kay departure west. Naka-west siya. So, nasa third quadrant, negative, negative. Alright. So, the next thing that we should do is to get the... Uh, I think natin, nakuha na nato ang coordinates sa C. Then, next thing is ang pagdetermine na po sa coordinates sa D. So, para makuha na to ang direct no, nga, um, pamaagi sa pagkuha sa uh, coordinates sa B, is we, uh, we need to determine the line AB. No, line AB. Ang iyahanak siyang distance A to B. And kinahanglan po na ito mahibawan ang iyahang bearing sa A to B. A to B, kanya siya. So, uh, to determine that one, so since kay naamantay given nga uh, line A to C and using the sign law, Kina, uh, tapos given po ang kaning uh, kina, given po ni si angle A, given si angle B and given si angle C alright, so um, using the sign law we have the 
4496.987 which is on distance A to C all over the sine of the opposite of the side which is ang angle B. Na angle B and CAB distance AB which is atong ipangita and over the sine C which is the opposite of the line AB. So given na po na si uh, uh, angle C. So substitute the value of AB uh, substitute the value of uh, line AC and the angle angle B and angle C so we can have the value of line AB to be 73.763.780 meters. All right, so next is the time distance. So we need to have the bearing A to A to B. No? To get the bearing, so balik ta ni nga illustration ganina sa station A. So from the given the uh, given na uh, illustration, so since uh, si A padulong niya sa kang C no, panisya nga line. Mas so, kanipod is padulong niya kang B. No? Alright, so since angle A, uh, kanisha is station A, so si since KC angle A is given na siya, no, to be um, 8157.32.75, then naapod tayo given nga azimuth, no? azimuth A to C, kana siya, na angle. So, ang direct niyang relationship is kinahanglan at para makuha na to ang uh, angle or bearing A to B is we need to subtract no? So from angle A minusan lang nato siya og azimuth azimuth no? Azimuth sa um, A padulong sa C. No? Substituting the value, we can have this AB no nga 68.2153.09. So sa iyan direction kay since naaman siya diri ah, no? So from the south, from the south daw, no, south going to the east. So kung na siya, south 68.2153.09 east. So muna ni Carl na nga to ang bearing na gamitan. Then, the next is na naman tay uh, distance and bearing no, going to AB, line AB pala, is we need to have the... Uh, the value of the latitude and departure of AB. So, balik tayo niya formula. So, latitude is equal to distance cosine bearing. So, natay value sa distance niya 763.780. Then, we have the value of bearing of 68.2153.09. So, we can have the value of latitude to be uh, 2715 meters. Negative siya kay since naka-south. No? South man ang iyahang. So, diba southeast ang direction? So, South man siya, then negative. For departure, uh, we have the formula D, sine the bearing. No? Substitute the value of distance and substitute the value of bearing. So we can have the value to be uh, 6845 meters. So since kay naka-east man siya, so positive ang ato ang value sa departure. Alright, to get the... Uh, UTM Zone 51 WGS 84 of the station B and C. So we need to have the value of A, which is the known one, no? 777,340 meters, ang yang northings, and ang yang eastings is 992,495 meters. So to get the northings for B, is we, need, we have this formula nga, um, na northings of A. Plus or minus siya, kaya it's because kung negative ang latitude, so a minus, pag positive, a plus. No, latitude of A to B. So, we have to substitute the value of uh, north things, which is 777, 340 meters, minus kay negative ba na nga to ang latitude sa pagpuha ang ganina. So, then, we can have the value of north things at B is 774,625 meters. So, muna ni Karun ang ato ang North things. For the east things, no? again, east things, a plus or minus lang ang departure sa AB. So, negative or a minus siya kung negative ang departure, a plus pag positive. So, substituting the value of east things at A, we have 992495 plus, no? plus 6845 kay since positive ang atong departure. 
So, we can have the value of 999,340 meters. Right. So, therefore, ang ato ang uh, coordinates at B is we have 774,625 meters and 999,340 meters. Alright, so next is, ang atuan na pong kuhaon is ang coordinate sa C. So again, balik ta, nga we have the given um, coordinates at A. So money siya. So balik lang ta sa itong gibuhat para sa B. Northings at C. No? Given ang northings at A, then positive negative ba ang latitude. So, substitute the values. Nga itong nakuha ganina sa pag-solve is we have North things to be 772.969 meters. For east things, again, same ng gihapon, east things at A, positive negative departure. So, since kay negative, uh, since kay negative ang ato ang value ha ganina sa um, departure, is ato lang siya, A minus sa east things sa A. Therefore, natay east things no, sa C is 991.348 meters. Therefore, we can have the value of C no? The coordinates of C to B, 772.969 meters. And for uh, east things, we have 991.438 uh, meters. Alright, so the next thing that we should discuss is the other uses of triangulation. So, sa una panahon, nilipat uh, uso ang GNSS, no? So, si triangulation ang ginagamit usually to establish the control networks, networks rather. No, so here are the uses for triangulation. So, first is ang establish highly precise control station for construction projects such as for bridges, tunnels, highways, and other engineering construction. So, ang pasapot namin nila class is ang dili siya uh, necessary na uh, triangulation ang, ang, ang ginagamit na method para para pag uh, ano ani pag determine the coordinates of this ano this bridge or unsa ba so syempre TS atong gabi to na answer na kada no ang gamit lang ani ni triangulation is ang ah, kung asa nakatay nakatay point or asa sya naka refer ang points na gigamit ang reference na gigamit aning total station to monitor the location of the tunnels bridges uh, highways no is output na siya sa triangulation which is ang control station or control points. Next is ang established control station for large projects such as boundary location, power development, water resources development, flood control, irrigation, and for reclamation projects. Again, ang control station kung asan nag-refer ang kaning mga projects kaning boundary, uh, power, water resources development, flood control, and etc. So, triangulation systems, it is a system again that consists of network connected, uh, of connected triangles. And these triangles adjoin or overlap with each other and the vertices of the triangles are marked points on the Earth's surface. So, pasabot niya, class, ang kaning mga, kaning, kaning station, kani, kani, for example, this one, kani, Kana nga mga points are nakafix na siya sa point. So mo na siya ang output sa triangulation methods. The four mainly a commonly used types of the triangulation system is kaning gitawag na to nga chain of single independent triangles. No? Chain of single independent triangles ang ang uh, example ani niya class kani kaning independent single, single triangles is kani kani. No? So single lang siya na lang simple lang siya nga triangulation. The next one is ang chain of quadrilaterals no? form with overlapping triangles, quadrilaterals. Example niya is kana, no? So na triangles mag-overlap siya kay naa siya ikani na triangle tapos kani po dayo na triangle. So that's overlapping. Chain of polygons with central uh, chain of polygons with central point uh, figures. Ang example na niya is kani. So, yung makita niyo, polygon siya. Pero na siya points sa tunga. Ano? Na siya isang. Next is ang chain of polygons with an extra diagonal. Ano? So, money siya ang pinaka-complex. Example na niya is kana. Ano? So, nag-overlap-overlap na siya. So, dagan siya. 
decided. So, muna siya example sa triangulation systems. Alright, so ato as yung isa-isa ko, no? First is the chain of triangles. So, again, sa akong gidiscuss ka ganina, no? So, ang um, chain of triangles is na asya'y baseline and na po siya'y check base. And kanina mga angles are determined directly on the field. Kana siya. Kanta sila nga mga angles. So, chain of triangles are the simplest form of triangulation and it involves minimum angular measurements and calculations for the amount of area to be covered. So, since uh, simple man siya, no, ang triangulation, so gamay na po ng angles ang iyang ma-measure directly in the field. So, ang iyang limitation and disadvantages, it does not provide the most accurate result uh, results because it lacks certain checks to be balanced in the small error with which are certain to occur. For example, mga system errors, random errors. So, few lang imong mag ma ma check no as you go along the triangulation. So, for another um, terms or need to know or the facts about uh, chain of triangles. So, it is usually in, uh, employed in a long and narrow surveys of uh, low precision. So, low precise lang siya. Ay since simple man ang uh, triangulation system, so, pwede ra siya sa uh, low precision lang or low lang ang gusto mong ma-achieve no? na accuracy. Example is in valleys and narrow body, in water, pintahin na ay river, so pwede siya itawok-tabok. And only one route of computation of distances. So, hence, it is frequent measure, the, hence, the frequent measurement of baselines are necessary as checks of the work. So, since kay, isa lang pwede ni mong mahimong labayanan no, sa imuhang uh, ruta, like for example, mo na imuhang baseline, so mo na po ni imuhang uh, uh, sa tawag ani, um, adjoining ni mo nga, or uh, pwede ni mo magamit na, na triangle, no? or kani nga route, kani first triangle, tapos next na punta triangle, para makuha ni mo ni nga line. So, next na pun, kani na pun na triangle, imong gamiton, para makuha ni mo ni nga line. No? Kala nga line. So, ingan na lang siya, simple lang siya, so pinahanglan ni mo siya i, i-check every, uh, now and then, ang baseline, ani or no, ang kaning, every kani nga measurement. So next na po, kanyang na po yung triangle lang ito yung maabot na ka sa imong check face which is ang katong mas precise. And should be used only when it is uh, impossible to implement a stronger system like chain of quadra quadrilaterals. So next is ang chain of quadrilaterals. Chain of quadrilaterals are the mostly used and gives the highest accuracy and highest accuracy siya compared sa triangles. And best adapted for a long and narrow surveys, narrow surveys, at require at the, at, that requires rather, no, a high degree of precision. So, kung mas dako ang accuracy nga gusto makamit, so, chain of quadrilateral sinong gamit. Okay, since the kan siya pamaagi, the kan siya o grota nga pwede magamit ka na triangle para makuha ni siya nga uh, line. Pudipod niya, kani nga triangle, with kani ang common side, pudipod kani ang common side, so dagkan siya pamaagi. No? And each figure is composed of two pairs of overlapping triangles. Overlapping triangles, one triangle, overlap with another triangle, the second triangle. And gives a maximum opportunity for distribution of angular errors. So in each quadrilateral, there are eight independent angles that are going to be measured and the following geometric conditions must be satisfied in chain of quadrilaterals. First is the angles about each station must be total of 360 or nang kitawag na og station adjustment. The sum of the interior angles of the quadrilateral must be equal to so this is the formula on how to get the um, interior angles of a polygon no? So, n minus 2 times 180 or 360 degrees. So, in this um, case, ang n is ang uh, number of sides. And the opposite angles at the intersection of the diagonals must be equal. 
and the comp uh, the computed length of the unknown side opposite to unknown side is must uh, must be uh, same regardless with each of the possible route is used. All right, so this is an example of a figure of a chain of a, of a quadrilateral in a triangulation. And that figure makes the quadrilateral the simplest form of triangulation which permits rigorous closure checks and adjustment of the field observational errors. It's because dili lang man kay triangle lang ihang gina-check but of course the uh, quadrilateral no that dapat sa quadrilateral dapat 360 degrees ang um 360 degrees ang uh, interior angle. So, ma-check na siya. At the same time, ma-check po na to ang um, sum of the interior angle for triangles. And it also allows point position to be calculated by four independent routes for computational checks. So, ang sa quadrilateral, the kay klase-klase nga ruta nga imuhang i-consider. No? Like for example, kani nga triangle. So, na ay common side nga kaning CBC no? then kanidayon pong another triangle para makuha na to ang uh, kaninga uh, kaninga uh, for example kaninga um, line no line CD which is ang required so dili lang kana ang dili lang kana ang pwede may mong ruta pwede pud nga ang imong common side is kaning si AB pwede imong common side si BD pwede pud common side dimo si AC so, dagan ka grutam, unang naa siya ay 4, 4 possible independent routes na magamit ni mo for checking. So, I'm going to discuss more on this later no, on these slides. Alright, so for the chain of polygons na punta. No? Chain of polygons, yung nga ni ang forma, no? naa siya ay isa ka baseline, tapos naa siya ay pang check base, then naa punta siya ay control point sa tunga-tunga or central point talaga and triangulation stations dagan kay so a polygon or a central point figure another uh, uh, term for chain of polygons is a central uh, central point figure na uh, gamiton para sa triangulation is composed of a group of triangles no having within a station and this center station is at vertex common point to all the triangles no nga naasayahan nakapaligot this is used when horizontal control is to be extended no, over a wide area involving a larger number of points. For example, large triangulation survey for a city. Kung bitahin, need lang gini mo siya i-extend to other uh, control no, para uh, magamit. No? So this is an example of a um, triangulation using a chain of polygons. So as you can see, there is a control or central point no? and na ay mga triangulations and that's it. Example na siya sa uh, chain of polygons. For choice of figure, no? it is uh, only well-shaped figures must be used in triangulation system since errors in measurements of lines and angles will really affect the computed values. So, kinahanglan or importante jod niya pag uh, one step or one uh, um, important step ng imuhang uh, buhato no? in triangulation is dapat uh, well shape ang imong figure no? or dapat um, sakto nga figure ang imong gigamit no? sa imuhang triangulation. Okay, magdepende man na kung uh, ang accuracy sa imuhang gusto ma-attain no? and so on. No? And na siya gi-introduce din nga duha ka ideal shape. A quadrilateral triangle daw kuno pag chain of triangles and a perfect uh, square no, for chain of quadrilaterals. No again, magdepende magdepend uh, mag depende ang imong accuracy no, or maka-affect gid siya sa imong na compute nga values kung unsa nga uh, figure ang imong gipili. No? Like for example, ang error no sa, sa sa pag-generate sa error during sa field measurements no and uh, as soon as kanang pwede no dapat kung chain of triangle dapat equilateral triangle din mo ang uh, ma-achieve no and pag uh, chain of quadrilaterals dapat perfect square gid pud siya and in reality or on field so mo ra kung gito ganina no nga as soon as kung kaya jud dapat 
mas dool-dool siya sa equilateral triangle at mas dool-dool kung siya sa imuhang uh, uh, perfect square. Pero we all know, no, there is always an error, there is no uh, perfect measurement. No, mo naging niya in reality, no, for example in field, this ideal shape may be impossible to obtain. Usual usual, usual nga mga situation na iging mutang diriya. Select figures which tend to approximate the ideal shapes. So, Muna na, as soon as kanang padulong na siya sa perfect uh, triangle or perfect square, pero we all know nga, dili magiging na siya ma-perfect, pero dapat dool-dool na dito ang iyahang uh, figure. No? Alright, so the computation of sides in any triangulation system will involve only two or three angles in a triangle. In the length or distance computation, the angles used are referred to as distance angles. So, uh, kung kintahin na kayo gusto ko haon nga um, side, no? for example, kaning, ato ang required na kuhaon is kaning si um, side AD, side AD or DA. So, ang ato ang distance angles daw is ang um, katong angles na gamiton to compute this um, value or the length of the AD. And these angles dako no are always opposite, no? opposite to the known and required sides. In this case, kung kintahay ato ang required side is si AD, AD, opposite dako no ni required and ni known. So therefore, ato ang distance angles are uh, angle B and angle G. Opposite siya sa known side, no? and kanipod is opposite siya sa required side. Siya. And the remaining angles daw ko no, of each triangle can be used to carry forward the direction and is called direction angle or azimuth angle. So kung kintahay, AD itong kuha on, no and atong distance angle say si angle G and angle B. So kanis si angle A, C, B, E, F are what we call direction angle or azimuth angle. And the distance angles should be kept between the limits of 30 to 150 degrees. So, mo siya ang essential yud na uh, distance angles or preferably near to 90 degrees. So, mo nang kung mag-solve mo uh, strongest route na gamiton para makuha ang required side, mo na sa chain of uh, quadrilateral, no, dahil possible na route to compute the required side. So, katong mga unaakay interior angle na less than 30 degrees and more than 150 degrees. So those routes are not go are expectedly ng uh, delicia is delicia ang mao ang strongest route. No? So murag magsayang rakag oras kung imo kagaya pun siyang kuhaon. It's because um uh, delicia pun siyang strongest route. No? Or oh, mali siya example no. If AD daw kuno is required whose length is to be computed, then the distance angles are G and B. So, man, itong discuss sa ganina. Alright. So, let's go to the triangulation of the in the Philippines. So, first, in the history of triangulation in the Philippines is on 1901 to 1927. So, this primary triangulation network, these are the primary triangulation network of the Philippines. So, this was established by the U.S. Coast and Geodetic Surveys sa U.S. U.S. pag nag sa ito, ano? USCGS. And coordinates computed in the 1927 adjustment designed as si Luzon Datum. No? Luzon Datum pa ni siya. Karaan na ito nga. Datum. And network established generally are weak structure weak structurally with stations uh, widely scattered throughout the islands. So, Ingan ni iyang forma, no? Sa triangulation during the time of uh, 1901 to 1927. Next is ang the Philippine Reference um, System of 1992 or kanang itawag na PRS 92. So these are the modified Luzon datum established using geograph uh, global positioning system rather, no? And ang iyang reference ellipsoid is si Clark Sphere 1866. Ang Orient Origin is ang Station Balanacan, which is located at Marandoki. No? And ang iyahang geoid separation, geoid sphere separation, ang kinagitawag na ito nga, kanang N. No? N. Diba, itong formula before kay um, 
H plus N is equal to H yung dako. So, sa, sa mani si H yung dako, this is orthometric. Kani isang geoid spheroid, kani ang ellipsoid. Or, um, uh, ellipsoidal height is equal to orthometric height plus geoid spheroid undulation. So, kani nga N, so ang geoid spheroid daw po, no, sa station balanakan is 0.34 meters. And local definition of WGS datum using transit Doppler and GPS defined to facilitate processing of baselines and adjustment. So the approximation of WGS to tolerance of 6 meters using Doppler effect. Transit, transit Doppler pala. And the transformation parameters between the 1990, uh, PRS 1992 and WGS84 are being available during this time. Ay since nga nung nga nung kinahanglan man siya i i transform sir. It's because WGS84 is ang worldwide adapted na ellipsoid and kaning si ellipsoid and datum, no? And ang kaning si PRS92 is ang uh, sa Philippines only lang siya. Philippine datum. And next is ang uh, 2007 to 2010. No? So again, uh, PRS project kaya siya, PRS na project, pero natao na ni si PageNet. So, ang saman PageNet, sir, um, Philippine Active Geodetic Network, no? or kanang itawag nila o PageNet. The full scale of nation and nationwide implementation of PRS-92 as a standard reference of the surveys and maps. No? So, dili na nga time, no, nga, i standardize na si uh, PRS-92. Matanan, old surveys and for future surveys, dapat naka PRS-92 na siya. So, in upgrading of PRS-92, the densification of geodetic control points and benchmark and gravity station. So, mas ipadaghan pa. No? Ipadaghan pa compared sa katong PRS-92 na during 1989 to 1992. So, murag gi gidugangan, mas gidensify pa siya. Mas daghan na siya, nakakatag na siya sa Philippines. And gi establish ni siya si uh, PageNet or si Philippine Active Geodetic Networks. And establishment of upgrading the tide stations using the GPS na. And uh, I systems development support, research and development, and policy formulation. So, dari na nga time, no? Kani nga mga uh, activities during 2010 to 2000, uh, 2007 to 2010. And lastly, no? During 2016 to 2020 or until karon na year no 2020 so these are the modernization of philippine geodetic reference systems so after the page net pro uh, project here it comes na si uh, modernization na sa philippine geodetic uh, reference system so na establish si philippine geodetic datum of 2016 and mas gidensify pag yun si page net no? So, nahimo na siya murag 200 station na ang naasa page net nga project. So, tungod sa kadaghan na densify na. So, nadugangan. And development and refinement of deformation model and migration to semi-dynamic geocentric datum. It's because sa ona class, dili siya dynamic ang ato ang uh, reference system. Like, static siya. Like, kung siya makuha na to karon na coordinate is kana lang murag kana nga time at reference epoch no? pero pag during na sa PRS 92 or modernization of the uh, Philippine Re reference system so nahim na siyang semi dynamic so gi-adapt na siya nga we all know nga ang tectonic plates are moving no daghay mga daghay mga uh, reasons nga nung mo change ang coordinates sa isa ka lugar so it's because uh, moving no dynamic ang ato ang environment and next is ang uh, P, uh, Philippine Geodetic Vertical Datum of 2020. Okay. Development and refinement of uh, Philippine Geoid Model or PGM. Kung asa nakabase ang katong itawag na to nga N or ang kanang geoid spheroid separation. Densification of gravity station, signification of the national vertical datum. Okay. It's because sa unang, pan, uh, sa unang wala pa rin modernization. Hmm. Ang mean sea level at each place is dili siya connected into the na national uh, reference system. So in this in this um, era, no, or kaning 2060 to 2020, so gihimo na siya og 
Ah, uh, unify na siya, no? Unify. So pasabot, ang tanan nato nga mga vertical datum is naka kabit na, no? Or murag uh, Philippine na jud siya nga kanang setting. No? And strengthening the core competencies in geodesy such as revision of laws, standards and procedures in research and development and capacity building in IEC campaigns. All right, so I guess let us end here, no? Sa atong discussion lang muna kay mo nagtaas-taas na gyud siya. So, stay tuned for the another videos for this um topic, no? Uh, in on our uh, GE122 genetic surveying. Keep safe everyone and have a good day.